In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the EA app using Heroic Game Launcher instead of her, uh, Lutris, for the reason that Lutris seems to be on main maintenance mode and not really fixing very many issues. So people are tending to have problems, and uh, using Heroic has become almost uh, flawless at this point in running certain launchers. Now, there's always going to be that one kid in the comments that are like, just do it using Steam. There's barely any setup. To you, I say, please, this is not the video for you. I don't know why you're here. Just go sit in the corner and, you know, learn something instead of cringing all the time. Yeah, it helps. So you're going to click this button. You're going to click this button. It's going to download this. Then we're going to exit that and we're going to open up Heroic Game Launcher. Okay, if you don't know how to install Heroic Game Launcher, uh, I have a video about that, or at least I should. Pretty easy. Uh, I have actually gone into my Fedora Package Manager, and I've made an install gaming meta, which automatically installs it from GitHub, along with Steam, Lutris, MangoHUD, GameScope, Proton Plus, Mango Juice, to basically just get you started. And as you can see, I have them all installed here, and we'll go over that later, but... We hit add game. We're going to, of course, give it the title of EA app, right? And we click away. You'll notice it updates and you can see all of this, right? Normally, you're only going to see the built in wine, okay? And this is not good. We want you to have a better version of wine. So go to the wine manager if you don't have Proton Plus and grab the latest version of Proton or from GE, okay? That will allow you to use this, but you can also go into advanced and you can allow using Valve Proton builds to run games. All right, this gives you more options in case one Proton doesn't work. There are others that will end up working. All right. So again, I just have to go over these things in case you end up getting lost. I don't need you getting frustrated and running back to Windows on things that are very simple and easy to solve. All right. So I'm here for you. Yes. So we're going to run the installer. It went into the downloads folder. I'm pretty sure you know where yours is. And what's going to happen is it's going to use that Proton to do this. We're going to press the Let's Go button. Ignore this and the one behind it. All right. These black boxes are just things that don't really need to render. They just show you progress. You can see it's flickering off and on. It's installing everything that's needed. And once you reach this step, you're going to hit the X button. Okay. Then you're going to select this. We're going to go to drive C. We're going to go to program files, EA games. It's empty because it's not where you go. Because unfortunately, I believe this is still outright oh, electronic arts, EA desktop. It's, it's been a while since I've done this and we're going to grab, I believe the launcher just like this. And we're going to hit finish. So now when you hit play, what will occur? is this should start up fine and uh it did and then you just log in you install games like you normally do and if you're one to play battlefield uh, which i know a few of you are i will uh show you that just one second okay so for battlefield 4 uh it uses an old school technique called punk buster okay i'm gonna go find the whole punk Buster setup. So we head here. Let's move this out of the way. And we grab for all Windows games. Yeah, I don't really care. Uh, we need to get there one way or another. And it will download this. Right now, currently, uh, Cloudflare is having an issue. So we're going to have to deal with this. And I'm going to just open this up on this screen over here. Because I got to move it somewhere a little bit better. Uh, than what I have it because I was actually hate to get a game working and the game is not one of the savory types you know what I mean so you're gonna run this just with the normal line okay and we're gonna add game and we're gonna choose battlefield 4 all right, and we're going to go to game path and we do this just to make sure that it gets it correct. Home. 
and games. Heroic. And no, I can't zoom this in because, again, this is just... It's an annoyance, that's for sure. And then we got yay app, right? That's the way we spelt it, yay app. Yes, it is. And we're going to want to find out where the games are installed. So program files, not there, you. Very difficult to navigate to. You're going to select the Battlefield folder. You're going to hit OK, and you're going to add game. It's going to end up downloading everything required to update the newest version of Punk Buster. And once it's done, you're good to go and you can play. Okay. I figured I'd add this in on here so you guys will know how to do it. I get this question a lot and this way there's no questions asked. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work, I can't help you with that. Unfortunately, sometimes weird things just happen. But it should work as of right now. As you can see, I am currently utilizing it to download Battlefield 4 to show you this example. Battlefield 6 will not work. Battlefield 1 will not work. Battlefield 5 will not work because they run underneath the new anti-cheat. So don't even bother asking. But Battlefield 3 will work and older titles, which is nice, right? Makes things a lot easier. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe. If this has helped you learned anything and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.